I'm talking to Professor Peter Masola. He's the Tanzanian Minister of Communication Science and Technology. Welcome, Professor Masola. Now, in Tanzania, you're using ICTs for e-education and e-health. How is that working? We do not have enough facilities. For education, we would need uh, quite a number of uh, uh, computers, for example, in schools. We have 16,000 primary schools with an average of about 500 students in each. We have 4,000 secondary schools with an average of about um, 600 to 700 students. So you can see, if you are talking about a laptop per child, that is a mammoth task. And very expensive. And it's very expensive because the cheapest one is about 200 US dollar. And therefore, you would require quite a lot of money. So how do you get ICTs to more remote areas in Tanzania? Well, we are using two methods. Right now, what we are trying to do is to have the ICT, national ICT backbone uh, infrastructure broadband, which for the first phase, we are trying to connect to all the neighboring countries. We've got eight neighboring countries surrounding us. And uh, so far, we've connected to six of the eight neighboring countries. We are left with the Mozambique and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. When you say connecting, what do you mean? Is this we mean we've we 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 already reached the borders so that when they come from the other side, then we can connect so that we can communicate directly. And we intend here to make Dar es Salaam the ICT hub for the region because of the strategic position and the political stability that we have in Tanzania. Each and every member country surrounding us, they are very keen to come through Dar es Salaam as their outlet because we also have uh, the landing points for the submarine cables, the SECOM, as well as the EASY cable. We look forward for others to be coming, Uhurunet, Teams, and many others. And uh, we don't think there's any other country which has got that sort of strategic location of having eight countries surrounding it. How do people use ICTs in, in Tanzania? How does a, a farmer or how do people in urban areas, how do they use ICTs? Well, in urban areas, the easiest thing is to pay for utility services, like bills for water, electricity, but uh, money transfers as well. The people in the rural areas where they have these facilities, it's easy for them to get access to markets outside. Rather than travel all the way to a city center to know, or travel with their commodities without knowing exactly what you're going to fetch, now they can use internet services, they can use mobile, and they get all the information they need. But also, even for teachers in remote areas, now they can get their salaries through the mobile. School kids in the areas, in the rural areas where you've got telecenters and what have you, instead of traveling to a school to go and check the notes board or to a district headquarter to know the results, now they can get results from the telecenters or community telecenters. And sometimes they get them through their own handsets. I mean, this is something I wanted to ask you about because there is this famous example that started in Kenya of mobile money where people can use their mobile telephone. Could you explain how that works? Because this is obviously also caught on in Tanzania. How exactly does that work? Well, basically it means if you want to send money, you must have money in your, in your own phone. So you have to get money, to, you have to buy the, 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 the card, put it in your phone, the value of money that you want to send, and then you transfer that one. There are even contributions for party elections. For example, the ruling party. Uh, last month, we launched a campaign for subscriptions to the party for elections, which are forthcoming in uh, October.
And is this just one political party that's done this, or is it many political parties? Well, that... I'm only aware of my political party. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but also uh, it means that you're less uh, in debt to large donations yes. from large companies. It allows it to be a more participatory or a smaller Very participatory. Scale. Everybody who affords to do that, people with more money, they can do it in different ways. But uh, with this sort of uh, way of sending money, that's the way it is being done at the moment.